This is the 150 grain cleaver from Crimson Talon Broadheads. I was very impressed when I took this out of the package and found out how razor sharp these edges come straight from the factory. There's a lot of broadhead companies out there that will label that they're pre-sharpened. They come sharpened from the factory and sometimes that's not as sharp as they could be or should be. These are definitely razor sharp right out of the package. I was impressed with that. This is a single bevel broadhead, which means it's sharpened on one side and sharpened on the other. Not all four sides. What that does is when it enters the animal, it corkscrews and continues to turn as it's passing through. If you have a double bevel broadhead where both all four sides are sharp, as it's going through and it hits, it generally will stop and push as opposed to continuing to turn. The single bevels, because they're sharp on opposite sides, they cause the arrow to continue to corkscrew and push its way through the animal. That's what I like about them. This is again the 150 grain. If you go on their website and check, the actual weight of these is 161 grains. It's always a good idea when you're setting up your arrows to weigh your components and overall weight once everything is together. That way you know what you're dealing with and how much your total arrow weight is. So again, this is a two blade broadhead. It's a one and one sixteenth cutting diameter. It has a 0 0.059 inch blade thickness. It comes at a right bevel. The ferrule material is an aircraft grade 7075 aluminum. Now, a lot of complaints with uh, different broadheads that don't have steel ferrules is the people worry that the aluminum will buckle under pressure. This again is 7075 aluminum. It is stronger than some steels. The blade is made of a CR12 MOV tool steel and you get three blades to a package. They also offer the cleaver in a 125 grain vented option. The vented cleaver is made of all the same materials. It is 125 grains, but the actual weight it comes in at 131. So again, make sure you weigh your components and know your arrow weight as you're setting things up so that you are right on with what you want to be shooting. And always, always, always practice with your broadheads before you go out in the field. Don't just screw these on, or any broadhead. Don't just screw the broadheads on and go out there and think everything's going to be fine. You have to make sure that they're flying true, your arrow is tuned properly, your bow is in good shape, and your system is set for what you're doing. You owe that to yourself and especially owe that to the animal that you're hunting. I, for one, am not upset that these are heavier than advertised. I do shoot heavier arrows. This is an Eastern Axis 5mm arrow, it's a 300 spine. Uh, I've loaded 75 grains of brass in the tip. I've got a 25 grain iron wheel impact collar and I usually load up 150 grain point or 150 grain broadhead. This is 150 grains. The actual weight again is 161. So that's bumped up my arrow, total arrow weight to 615 grains. So I'm going to go out there and show you just how awesome these things fly and how close to field points they are on the target. I'm going to go out and shoot these at distances on my 3D deer target, the 3D shooter buck target that I have. I'll shoot this at 30, 40, 50 and 60 yards to show you how they fly at those ranges. Shooting these arrows out of my prime Nexus 4. 70 pounds, 30 inch draw. Thirty yards, field point and broadhead.
40 yards field point and broadhead. This wind is killing me today, but I'm still getting some pretty good results, so we're going to keep going. This is 50 yards with a field point and a broadhead. You can't ask for better than that. It's a field point. Broadhead. I think the field point went a little bit to the right where I wanted it to go, but the broadhead went exactly where I was aiming and exactly where I wanted it to go. Heart shot. Sixty yards. Field point. Broadhead. Well, there you have it. The results speak for themselves. This Crimson Talon Cleaver is incredibly well constructed and should pose devastating results in the field. I will be taking this in my quiver during my spring and fall turkey hunts, black bear hunts, and white-tailed deer. Cleavers are sold in a three-pack at $29.95 US, which for us Canadians is about $38, $39 for a package of three. For more information on the cleaver and all the other broadheads that Crimson Talon makes, head on over to their website, www.corecut.com, K-O-R-E-K-U-T.com. And check out all of the broadhead options that they offer, both fixed blade and mechanical. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Share them with your friends and let me know what you'd like to see next.